Right, good afternoon, Mark. Hello, mate. We've got Mark White with us, obviously, before the Slough Town game. It's a funny old day with the weather. Now it's sunny and it's raining. Sun's out, coming out, mate. Yeah, yes. stay out, ideally. So, looking forward to the game. Well, you know, what are you expecting against your, for the, op- the opposition today? We know where we are today, do you know what I mean? I think you're always going to get a hard test. Hard working team, a different type of Slough team in terms of the clientele. Yes. Um, arguably, playing, arguably playing for nothing, a very outside shot, maybe the playoffs. I think um, they're um, a team that's managed by two of the better managers in this league and they always give you a good game. They give anyone a good game. I know they've beaten Maidstone twice this year and they've had some great results. They beat us at their place. Yeah, I, I'd like to think we're, uh, yeah, <coughs> I'd like to think, I'd like to think we're a different proposition today. I thought it was great last week and I really enjoyed the game last week. And, and, and you know, sometimes, yeah. You do have to go home and go, oh, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and, yeah. and actually, we played so well. So, I think the guy took in great form. And um, we'll see how we get on, mate. You never know what's around the corner, do you? What is the team news? Can you give us the team news today, please? Yeah, yeah. It would be, um, you know, um, Bobby's... Kennedy's got a slight groin strain. Bobby's going to be playing with uh, Dan and Isaac. Luke Moore's in uh, with um, Josh and Foggy. McShane, Pryor. So it's the same team by two. Jimmy. Jimmy Mewitt's playing. Jimmy Mewitt's so two, two different, Two different players playing. Yeah. But Jimmy's excellent, looked really good in training. He's, he's a great player and he, he could have a big finish to the season. I feel like this is a, a big period now. Almost, we've got a friendly Tuesday. I'm looking forward to seeing some of them boys play that. We've got a great bench today. You're about to say, what is the bench? Is that um, it's, um, it's Pryor, David. I'm really right with Ari, keep saying it. Pryor, David, uh, Nicky Wheeler. Uh, DJ and Ed Harris. Whoa, yeah, I know. Yeah. So what a bench that is. So yeah. very fortunate. But listen, the lads love it here. We love having them here. We've got such a great squad and we really we really enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Off the, off the back of last Saturday, going to a venue, it's, it's a little bit okay, iconic in non-league football, really. Going to Gravesend. My friend played there and to play so well away from home like we did and we played well down here, I thought, against Hampton. We know we're going to have great moments in this game. Just need to be compact and... They keep a clean sheet, really. Yeah, um, talk about the team. It's a different subject, really. Dan Lincoln. When's he? When's he leaving for cricket? Or uh, any ideas? Well, I don't know, mate. I think it's May or something. I don't know. We've not really spoke about it. I think Dan's committed here. I think Dan will prioritise us. He's got Slav who wants to play as well, and Slav's going to obviously be getting some minutes in the game on Tuesday night. So, you know, he's he's in for competition like everybody else is. It's quite strange. You look at the likes of boys that are not named today. Uh, not named Samuel Ab, Cheadle, Kane Wills, Razor. These are all boys that could come in and do a job. If I look at the five on the bench, if I think about us at our fully fittest, yeah, yeah. you'd probably have Nicky Wheeler slinging balls into yes. prior, wouldn't you? And you'd be sort of thinking, oh, where do, does Maka play, doesn't he? Out, out, you know, like, so, so the team we're playing um, is the one that's the fittest, the one that's, um, you know, got some continuity behind it. It probably wouldn't be the team you play if you started the season tomorrow and everyone was fit. Sure. Funny enough, the next question is like next Saturday we haven't got a game. Is that a bit of a hindrance or is it is it coming at a right time where you could get the players in on a Saturday? I know you probably don't do bonding this, at this level, but I'm not sure. But is it a time, good time to bring him in and do a little bit of set play on the pitch and things like that or what? Not really. It's boring, isn't it? Not playing. <laughs> a bit of th- it's not, I mean, listen, we don't need bloody... Bond in here, like we would, you know. This is always the best changing room around. Do you know what I mean? We have great fun every minute, win, lose or draw. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 a, it's a bastard, really. Do you know what I mean? There's no other way of phrasing it. I mean, we want to win today. Make sure we go into that period with maximum points. Yeah. Um, and then, um, <coughs> yeah, we might listen. We might end up trying to get a friendly, maybe against a 23s team. I don't know. We'll see how we get on today and Tuesday. It's not ideal, but it's the same for everybody this year. I believe, I'm not sure, I believe that one of our rivals over those two weekends with two games have only got one game, which All would be right. good for them. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even sure who that is, by the way, someone told me. But yeah, it's, it's annoying. The FA should have just propped all the leagues up to even numbers last year. Relegated Dover, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Annoyingly. Yeah, fair enough. Do you know what I mean, though? Story, yeah, yeah right, do you know what I mean? It's annoying, though, is it? Like, oh, right. I mean, odd, number, odd, odd number of team, as yeah. teams is not ideal, but listen, mate. Is what it is. Yeah, it's what it is. Right, okay, well, good luck today. I hope it goes well. Cheers, and guys. No doubt we'll catch up after. Cheers, mate. All the best.